The enormity of what's happened, uh, I realised because of the event. Like it was a massive crowd, fireworks, bands. Like I, I knew that it was a big event, and I knew that it was pretty cool to win that night. But I haven't been back to Melbourne yet. I think that's when I realised what I've done. Yeah, uh, that's that's one thing that like it's been amazing to be a part of. Is obviously like they haven't had a, a premiership in 57 years, mm. but um, just all the past players, the support we've received from them, how proud they are of what we've been doing and how much support they've thrown behind us. Super grateful to be a part of a club with a rich history like that. Yeah, chuffed to bring success to supporters who've uh, been after it for a while and um, their support has been amazing for us. You can see why a lot of people do try and chase premierships. Yeah, it's an incredible feeling and you know, you're very proud of the group and the coaches and, and the whole club. Yeah, it's quite fulfilling. Um, I think it's just as special for everyone, but it is it is nice knowing that all the years of uh, toiling away being down the bottom has uh, been worth it and, you know, lucky enough to have the medallion. I'm sure a lot of the boys will agree it's um, past the expectation. It's been an um, unbelievable feeling and I've been here for seven or eight years now and obviously I came at the start of the rebuild, but not once did I sort of think that, um, you know, we ever lost belief that we could achieve what we just achieved. and. Um, you know, it's, it's gone through, I guess, hard yards and to be able to finish off the way we did, it's, um, you know, amazing. I feel like I've got a band of brothers no matter what. Like the 22 guys I went out there and played with, 23, yeah, we do have a special connection with a resume type thing, but the 45 is what I see. And then the hundreds of past players that have been through is what I see. So, and they didn't win flags, and I didn't win flags with some of my best mates, but I've made that connection through our football club, which I think makes the Melbourne Football Club so special and makes the celebrations and the outcry of past players' um, emotions over the last week, it shows how special this club is. And now that's something that's gonna live on for generations and generations. Like we were chatting the other day, a few of us older boys and the 10 year reunion, we're already talking about, Dogger and Cozzy will still probably be playing. So that's the, the, the ripple effect that we'll have on this footy club now, this, this group of players. and. When, when Dogger and Cozzy are doing their thing, when they're 30, 30 years old, they'll have 18 year olds at the footy club. And you know, we hope to see now a new generation of success at the Demons.